Hello everyone, Shantae here. I hope you guys are having a great day. So welcome to Saturday Morning Challenge of Friends, where me and Joyce, <clears throat> excuse me, we get together and challenge each other to use our products. Joyce's channel will be in the description bar below. So make sure you um, go check her out as well. You guys just rate, comment, and get, show us some love while we continue to challenge each other among friends. All right. I think that's all. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Shantae here. I hope you guys are having a great day. So welcome. Um, well, you already see the intro, but this is our first uh, video of the year for 2021. And this week, we decided to kill a 12 by 12 collection kit. Now, I have never did a 12 by 12 collection kit. I've killed several 6 by 6 pads, but I've never tackled um, a 12 by 12 beast. So, I use this collection right here called Love Story by Lori Whitlock. And as you can see, um, I use every... Oh, I didn't use that sticker. I was going to say I use every single sticker except this one. I got to find some to put this one on. Yeah, because I... Um, so, I'll stick that on a 3x3. Three three. But uh, I've used all of the stickers... Um, this was one uh, from 2018 from Tuesday morning. All right, so let me start off by, I already have my project st stacked up because it's quite a bit. But let me show you what else. Um, I use these, uh, I don't know what kind of stickers you call them, but they are at Dollar General for a dollar. And I use the uh, pink pack and some of the red pack. Um, that's the only thing extra. And let me show you my scraps. Um, because we supposed to have been killed it. This is a scrap because of the dye that I used. It did the paper was not long enough to go all the way over. So that's scrap. And then these are just strips. I kept them um so I could remember the paper collection. I forgot I didn't realize it was on the sticker sheet. So these are just the strips that comes from that. This right here is my little scraps that you see right there. And I don't, it, this is trash. So um, I don't have any need for this. I'm not doing, that's a little piece. I'm not doing anything else with this other than the trash can because I'm sick of looking at this paper. Oh my God. This got on my last nerve. It was fun, though. Y'all know how you have a project. It get on your nerve, but it, it's so fun. This is how this challenge was for me. And, of course, that's the purpose of the challenges. So, I'm not complaining by any means. If you really know me, you know that one complaint. But um, it got on my nerve, but it was also fun. Okay. So, here are my first... Uh, let me zoom. Just see the jump. Okay, so this is my first um, thing that I made. And to be honest, guys, I made this so far in advance. I feel like I'm supposed to be showing you. I feel like I made something else. But I don't know where I stuck it at. So if I have more to add, I just have to do another video. Because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Alright, so here's the first one. I made this. Uh, You know how they do the bags out of the 12 by 12 the uh envelopes out of the 12 by 12 so i made three so here's the first one and i used the stickers oh and that is recollection shiny paper to give it a pop so that's my first one so that was one sheet here's the second sheet I already got the adhesive on the back. Now, this third sheet, you can't win them all. When I tell you, this is so ugly to me. So, I'm going to reconfigure this. Because I had a vision in mind, and then the sticker slipped out my hand and stuck to the paper. And I couldn't move it, and I was trying to fix it, and it just looked a hot mess. But when I get through with it, it'll be fine. But, you know, I show my mistakes. 
That's what crafting is all about. But I do not like this one. But it will be rectified if I send it out. Okay, so that was three sheets. Okay, Tamika, who is Scrap the World, everybody know her. She had did a video about three years ago and showing you how to basically make albums out of... Um, I forgot what it's called. I'll link it in the description bar below. But you basically milking uh 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So the first thing that I made was one of these. Um, I did her tutorial this time on the uh one sheet book. You see, I did the stickers in the paper here. And Oh, come on. I think I... Can I not get this open? Really? <sighs> Let's see. Um, come on now. Okay, because I was going to pause this video because I'm like, this is ridiculous. Okay, I don't know why I tied it so many ways, but anyway. This is, um, that's the back side. And they open like this. I left the tops blank this time so it won't be so bulky. And here are the insides where I use some of the stil stickers. I still can't believe I use stickers because, see, sticker, stickers are on every page in here because I was trying to use them bad boys up. And, oh, it's one right there, so let's see. That's the other one. So that's the one sheet album. See, I put little quotes on everything. All right, so that's that one. And then she made this type right here. Right here. That's the front and the back. Love the front of that one. And then you just, she showed different ways you can um, make them. And these just have two mats. Four by six mats. Okay. So this one just holds four photos. Right there. Okay, the next one that I um, that she did, I added this. I used this tailored expression belly band and put a belly band on here. Uh, I forget how she used it. But anyway, it just opens like this. And I just decorated it um, like so. And then I put mats, the color parts on the inside. Same with those two. And that one. And I can't remember how. I, yeah. And that's that one. Okay. Next up is these two albums right here. Um, she showed how to do these two different ways as well. And this is the first one I made a shaker. And you can see all the different shaker bits that I put on the inside of this one, Forever You and Me. And she showed how to round it. Child, my hand slipped. I just, I don't know. I don't do good with stuff like that. That's why I love dyes. But I was trying to beat freehand like she did in the video, and it did not work. But I wasn't going to start over because it was, it was good enough. It's good enough if I want to use it. All right, so here's the inside. I just used the stickers to do the pockets. And then um, these have, I just did some mats. 
with the cut parts. I forgot to back back the cut parts in the other one, but I did I didn't forget on this one. Okay, so that's the first one. All right, and then I made she showed the second version, so I made the second version, and you can see I just used all the stickers and excuse me, popped everything up. And I used a uh, Stampin' Up! punch to punch this and use the stickers. And it's the same thing. Just use more paper and cut apart. I really enjoyed um, doing these. Okay. Let me speed up because this video is getting long. Okay. Now, we are coming to the portion of scraps. So, I I made all of this stuff using the scraps that I have had left. Okay, so, I just made this card. And you can see it's just a bunch of papers layered together. Because, it, again, everything you see is going to be like this because it's scraps. Here's another one. And um, I use uh, Divinity Designs uh, dies. Here's another one. Okay, and then I made some three by threes. And some of them I didn't I haven't put a sentiment on. I just got tired of paper piecing and all of that, die cutting all that good stuff. So here's one. And you can see I haven't put a sentiment on these yet. But they're ready to go. And then um, the inside, you know, I always just use the little, the little strips up. Uh-oh. This was the last thing I was, that I uh, finished doing. Okay, and then I made some slimline cards. Okay. So here's the first one that I made using the Divinity Designs um, dies right here. And I used, I hadn't, didn't put a sentiment because of what was on the paper. And I, I didn't want to cover up, honestly, all the different types of things I put into the mix. You see those hearts. Um, it got beads. All kind of square pieces. All of it, but they all match the collection, and of course the inside is like that. And um, I use that double stitched uh, die. Here's another one that I made. I did add two of the stickers on there in the love, and as you can see, those are the bits on on here. That's the inside, but. Now it would, so you can see it shake. This one don't want to shake. It was shaking earlier, but you get the point. Oh, I got to go back and seal that. Okay. So yeah, that's that one. And then if you notice in the paper, it was a telephone in there. So I use the Stamps of Life telephone to make this card. And it just says, I like to phone a friend. And you have, I did the different telephones and I pulled the colors from off the paper. This color is in there. It just covered up by the time I put it on there. But it's uh, Catherine Pooler inks to make that. So I did all of that with the 12 by 12 collections kit. So we got three slimline. Um, I should, I think five, three by threes, two, four. Six, um, six three by threes. One, two, three. Three A2 cards. Three A2 cards. Three of these, uh, I don't know what you call them, bags. And we got one. 
five albums. So that is it for me, you guys. Um, make sure you go out and check and see what Joyce created for you on today. And hopefully I'll be back with another um, video. Um, yeah, so on to our next one. Have a blessed day. Bye.